Hello lovely people, today I have another tuning session for you. So I tuned this car yesterday. I didn't take any videos or pictures just because so this this tuning session was long due. We agreed on it like before Easter, so like more than a month ago. And you know, life happens and everything else. So we did manage to get together yesterday in the evening only. So I started to tune this car at like 11 o'clock, 11, 11 p.m. And I was tuning it till two o'clock. So it was like, what, three, yeah, three hours of tuning. So uh, I don't have any pictures or anything. Um, a little bit about the system. It's a three-way front plus just one sub in IB with a floor cut. So it's a, it's a big car kind of long-ish with a trunk and with a short dash. So the tweeters are in the dash, uh, the mid-range are uh, on eight pillars, mid-base in the doors and subwoofer in true IB in the trunk. So let's just have a look at everything. Uh, yeah, let's start with the tweeters. So left tweeter and right tweeter. So the tweeters are um, Monocore. So Monocore is a brand that makes, I think they mainly make like home audio speakers. I'm not, I'm not sure if it's very popular in America, but it's popular in the UK. So it's like a cheap-ish uh, home audio brand. So Monocore tweeters. They have an FS of, I think, 1.3K. So this is crossed at, I think it's two or two and a half, just to check how they are, where they are. So even if they are like in the dash, they aimed like towards the middle of the car. So they're not on axis. And that's why they roll off like uh, the right one at 14 and a half and the left one at 14K. So they, they do roll off quite uh, early, but yeah, without aiming them more on axis, you cannot do anything. And the response is not that bad. The difference between left and right is quite huge. Uh, I think because mainly of the distance, because the distance, the, the right one, so in the UK, we drive on the right side, so the right one, uh, which is this one, the green one, is much, much closer compared to the left one. So that maybe that's why the, the big difference. Okay, so these are fine. Uh, mid, mid range. So the mid ranges are, um, I'm not sure of the model, I think it's, it's a Dayton Audio uh, three and a half or a four inch, full range driver. And, um, they're in the pillars, however, those drivers have a big magnet, big motor structure, and the owner, when he built the pillars himself, uh, he didn't leave much breathing space for, for, for the driver to breathe, and this is crossed at, I think this crossed at 200 for protection, so 200 crossover, and as you can see, the left one uh, which is the passenger side, uh, it doesn't play much like below 350. And I think that is basically it's blocked and it acts like any extremely small sealed pod because I have very similar response with uh, wide bands and small pods. Basically nothing plays below 300 and you have a peak here. So I think that the left one has very, very little space behind the motor. So that's something for the owner to fix. And the right one has a bit more space, but again, it rolls off. It should be play, it should play a bit lower, but again, it rolls off like below 230, 250. And we can see that we have, oh, we have some problems, like a few dips here. And it's mainly because of the dash and the aiming, because it's aimed similar to the tweeters, to like to the middle of the car. Again, they're not on axis. And these particular mids have a huge breakup mode, like 13, 14K. 
So it's a huge breakup, cone breakup mode. But they do play all the way up. Okay, so these are the mids. The mid base. Left one, the passenger side. And the right one. So these mids, uh, mid base, uh, they're monocore drivers as well. And these are slightly big, I think they're seven inch drivers. So they're slightly bigger, slightly more excursion, and they're not eight inch, but they're bigger than six and a half. So the passenger side, it's like a typical mid base. They do play low, they do play like down to 40 Hertz. So on the passenger side, we have a cancellation at like 400, but this is quite normal usable range. However, the right one, the driver side, like this and here at 130 you have that famous driver side null and again above 350 the cancellation doesn't play much so this is our range that we wanted to play and here's the big cancellation we cannot do anything about it unless you want to move the driver to the kicks but that's for now it's not an option and the subwoofer just like that. So I was a bit surprised because of the subwoofer. So it is a um, hybrid audio. I think it's a Claris. It's a 15 inch sub. I uh, don't look at the level. We're going to fix it. However, it doesn't play that low. So it peaks at like 30. And I didn't check to be honest, like this, this driver specifics, because I know it's not, uh, it's not an IB sub, but it's, uh, people use it for IB. People use it for trunk IB, but it's in true IB. So it's not ideal, but it plays, it does the job. So below like 28, it drops down. And another thing is that the amplifier that he's using, the monoblock, uh, it's a JBL monoblock, it has a subsonic at 20 Hertz. So below 20, uh, it falls down anyway. Okay, so based on these measurements, I chose crossover. Uh, I chose targets and crossover. So let's have a look. Uh, mid base, sub, overall, mid range, and tweeter. There we go. So I crossed the tweeter 3K because it's like FS uh, 1.3, so like two times FS 2.6, so close to three. They're fine. And the mid range, it plays quite high. It plays all, all the way up high. So it's like, it's, it's not an issue. I can cross it even higher or lower. So I chose this 3K. For the high pass, I chose uh, 300 Hertz because uh, this one, the left one that doesn't play that low, it's basically limiting the bottom end and if you choose the target curve a bit lower it's fine like that the right side it can play lower but the left side cannot play low so that's why it's like 300 hertz and the mid base is very similar uh left and right so both of these mid bases uh have a massive cancellation of like 400 so that's why like 300 it's uh it's not that bad crossover issue. I would like to cross them like close to 220, maybe 250, just to have a bit more for the slope. But the problem is that mid uh, is this one, the mid that doesn't play low. So you have to cross them a bit higher. And for the bottom end, since these are quite capable drivers, they are quite happy to play low. Uh, not trashing, obviously, not, not like very very loud but on a normal listening levels so they're quite happy to play low so i cross them at 50. so one of the reasons is because they're quite capable they're quite big they're like seven inch and the second reason is because the subwoofer as an ib sub it doesn't play much like here above 60. above 60 it just drops off a cliff and a 70 is the biggest cancellation of ever so so again, you have to cross it low. The plans in the future for the owner is to have a front sub to bridge the gap between the IB and the mid base to, to ease, make the life easier for the mid base drivers. 
but for now since it's like a three-way plus, plus IB sub uh, I don't really have an option so I had to cross it at 50 so again the plan with this one uh, is go to Emma this Sunday so if you're watching whoever's watching from the UK you're not gonna be there you're gonna see this car there and you can listen to this tune I wish I would have more time for this but I had only three hours and it's like literally finished two o'clock in the morning it was just oh okay so let's have a look what we did what I did with this left tweeter um, I crossed it so this was like two and a half I think K and I crossed it at 3k so just fix the crossover a bit and then uh, left tweeter no um, left tweet EQ that's the one yeah so slight boost slight cut just like that so that's the left one then right tweeter with a crossover again very similar and right tweeter EQ just cut 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 and ended up like this so it's very similar to the target where is the target tweeter ah it's it's a bit lower the target but yeah so they are nice so tweeter left right now the mid-range that was fun so mid-range left they had to have uh, different crossovers for the bottom and the high pass filters because they play differently so left mid crossovers across like three as i mentioned 3k and 300 hertz and then after that left mid eq just like that cut cut slide boost here slide boost here and cut from the slope and that's the left mid range now the right one right one it was like that there is a cancellation slight cancellation here and here as well so what i did uh, yeah i crossed it first so slightly changed these slopes that's the right and when i overlay the target curve in um, in the eq window uh, rw didn't want to boost this part because it's quite deep uh, cancellations so what i did i boosted it manually with uh, wide eq band i think it was like uh, at 2k plus 4 db with a q of 1 so i boosted manually and then i did the auto eq and it eq'd to this one and it's br bring down the level as well because it had to match the level to the left one just like that so after eq left and right slight uh problems here but you know now mid base left base so the left is the passenger side crossed it as i mentioned 50 and 300 i don't remember which crossovers are used by actually i can check so for the tweeters use 3k for the mids uh 240 and 3k so left and right yeah 50 and 250 for both of them so bezel 24 and bezel 36 50 and 250 so cross that yeah 50 and 250 so that's the left one after the crossover and left left base eq this one there we go eq just like cut cut just to make sure i have the slopes so that's the left one and now the right the the nasty one with this massive cancellation so the thing that i did same crossovers applied and after the crossovers uh right eq so what i did i left this cancellation i didn't boost it because what's the point it's not it's not going to boost anyway 
So the thing is like, I couldn't choose a higher uh, target because the slopes then wouldn't match. So that's why I had to bring the level quite down just to match the slopes and it ended up like this. So then we have, where is it, left, left base, there we go, left and right. So that could match in quite well. Here is it's not perfect, but it's not that bad. At 4, 420, there's a cancellation, but it's deep like in the crossover slope, so it's not really a problem. And then the subwoofer. So this was a subwoofer. And so this is with a crossover. And then I EQ'd it. So what I did with this, uh, I could have, let me show you what I mean. Uh, target for the sub. There we go. So if I would chose a, a higher target, actually let's move it so it's going to be easier to see what I mean. There we go. Minus two, let's leave it. Okay, minus ten. There we go. So I chose a target could quite low because what I want it is since it's an IB sub, uh, I would like to have ideally some low end extension. So I have it down to 20 Hertz. And if I choose the target curve lower, I can extend the top end as well. So now it matches the slope until 70 Hertz. And if you remember the mid base is crossed at 50. So I have some, some overlap in the crossover region because if I would have chosen the target higher, for example, like this, I would gain 5 dB of um, headroom. However, the lowest it would play like 28, 29 Hertz. It wouldn't have any extension down to 20. And at the top end as well, it will follow only up to 60. And now it follows up to 70, 75. So I would have less extension. And that's why uh, this system needs a front subwoofer. But for now, it's only IB and the mid base. And that's why I chose a very low target curve, just to have that extension, you know? So, subwoofer EQ, there we go. And then I played the pairs. So we have a tweeter pair, we have mid range pair, and mid base pair. So then I noticed that the sub level is very, very low. So I increase, but I don't have it here. Yeah, so I increase the, the subwoofer level with gain and checked the summing and they summed fine. So the problem with this uh, tune is literally lack of time because uh, when he came in the evening, we had to sort out some wiring stuff uh we connected the speakers and everything checked where is which what is what a few speakers didn't play so we had to sort that out and as i mentioned i started to tune like 11 finished at 2 and i didn't have time to do any kind of impulse response so the timing that i did is with the tape measure tape measure jazzy's tuning companion and just enter the delays in the dsp so uh the mid bass and the sub summed quite well uh, let's remove this, let's remove this one. Mids and tweets summed up well as well. Not perfect, but good. And base and mid, uh, they didn't sum. I tried to flip the polarity. Uh, it was a little bit better, but they still didn't sum. And uh, this is gonna be a, a phase issue. And that's the thing, I, I literally didn't have time to play because this measurement was made like at 1.30 a.m. in the middle of the night and uh, I just left it as it is. I didn't play it, didn't play with this anymore and basically ended up with all 
uh, like this. So let me remove this all. So this is the all and this is the overall target curve. So it didn't sum well between mids and mid base. Uh, this sum is quite good. And here between tweeters, because they crossed at three, so something to do with the tweeters as well. I tried to flip the polarity with it for the tweeters, but it didn't change. But yeah, end up like this. So I listened to it, I adjusted the center image a bit with the Emma tracks, and I noticed that uh, like this tune would be good for like for the competition for Emma, however. Uh, there's no controller so he cannot flip uh, presets and he's gonna be driving so what i did is i increased the mid base and, and, and sub level tiny bit i don't know why this mid range uh, appeared a bit uh, higher on this other measurement because i didn't do anything and i did decrease the tweet as a tiny tiny bit like maybe 1db, but a bit more level for the mid base and subwoofer. So as it was tuned, the system sound very nice. It sound warm, like the base is like full and like uh, a bit fat. And I think it's because of this extra energy here because there's a bit less uh, subwoofer level and more mid base. So mid base, those drivers are very, very nice. They're very capable. They're, they're very nice. They're, they're bassy. Like, yeah, I, I like them. The mid range is not that harsh. The tweeters, I had to decrease them a tiny bit because um, it was very bright at that time. And I thought that like for daily listening, just to tone it down a little bit and it was fine so the only problems with the system is like even if the tweeters and the mid-range are not quite on axis so the tweeters are rolling off like i i think i did boost a tiny bit on the top end so now they're extending up to 16k so even if if they're off axis they do extend at 16k however the gain structure is messed up so let me show you something. So this is the preset that I have for that uh, for this tune. So the subwoofer, I had to crank it up up to plus five, even with the gain increased. And uh, I'm not sure if it's uh, gain issue with the amplifier because the amplifier was bought second hand and apparently it's not tested. So I'm not sure if it works like properly, but it sounds good. But there's like, it's something with the gain knob, I think. So I had to crank it up up to all full plus five. And this was the bottleneck in the gain structure. Uh, because the tweeter, so one tweeter is minus 10 dB. The other tweeter is minus 14 dB. I think it, it might be that the uh, two channels for the tweeters on one of the four channel amplifier, the gain might be turned up. However, the owner said that the gain is all all down on all the amplifiers, but this, I don't know, they're 92 dB efficient, so maybe because they're so efficient, but like 10 dB, I don't know, that's quite a lot. So these are toned down a lot. Now the mid-range, so one mid-range, the left one, the passenger side, it has minus one, however, the right one, it's minus nine, so I had to tone it down a lot because they're very, very uneven. And again, it might be because the left one, it's like in, in an extremely small, almost small pod that doesn't breathe at all. And the right one is much closer to you because as I mentioned, the dash is very, um, it's not deep at all. And uh, the right mid and tweeter, they're very, very close to you. But yeah, so again, left mid, just minus one, and the right one, I had to tone it down quite a lot. The mid base, uh, minus three and a half, and minus one, so it's fine. So it's something, something is happening with the tweeters, because they have a lot more level, like 10 dB more level. 
and something is happening with a subwoofer. So next time when he comes, because he's planning to put the sub front subwoofer, I will need to check uh, individual gains on the amplifier with a scope. And that's the thing, I didn't want to do it at two o'clock in the morning, you know? That was time to uh, go to sleep and not check gains. So yeah, that is for the next time. And for now, uh, the, uh, the issue with the system is that it's not as loud because um, again, um, the owner is using um, not the best source. So it doesn't have a very strong signal and uh, there's something wrong with the gains on the amplifier. So it doesn't go as loud, the system, but it does play 95 dB. It maybe it doesn't reach 100, but 95, 93 dB on max volume, on uh, like on loud listening levels is, is totally fine, even when driving. So yeah, um, kind of quick and dirty, but it's just because it was like very, very late at night. So again, it's not perfect. It's quite far from perfect. But it sounds good. Let me just add some smoothing, like one third, just to have a bit idea, just like that. So yeah, a bit less on the tweets. More on this, more on this. So actually, if I if I would raise the target overall, which is this one, if I would raise it a bit to match like that, it would be just a tweet is toned down for a bit more mellow listening, so it wouldn't be like as harsh. But yeah, it sounds good. The kick is there, not as, uh, not like in my car, but it is there, the bass is quite fat. It's a very nice bass. And it's a mellow system, mellow listening system. So if you're gonna be in Emma on Sunday, uh, look for a Lexus with a true IB sub in the back. Cool. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.